And welcome back, everyone, for week 12 of the 2019 NFL season. Back to normal. Last week, we were very busy. Could barely squeeze the video in. We've got lots of time this week. We're going to start you off with Billy B and his college picks. All right, what's up, everybody? Billy B back. Uh, college picks for this week. We got Ball State minus three and a half, Air Force minus 22, UAB minus four and a half, and Duke plus seven. So there you have it for the college picks. Do you going to give you the NFL picks right now? The first game we're going to look at has the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going to Atlanta, where the Falcons are minus four at home. I don't know what the Falcons did over their bye week. I think they brought in an old priest and a young priest because that team had a serious exorcism. Suddenly they play, they are playing great defense. They haven't allowed a touchdown in the last two games, and those are against two good offenses, New Orleans Saints and Carolina Panthers. That pass rush has been ferocious. Uh, 11 sacks in those two games. Meanwhile, Tampa Bay continues to struggle, especially quarterback Jameis Winston is, with his uh, you know, interceptions. I think that was four last week. Now he gets this very good, suddenly very good defense. I think there's going to be more of the same. Not only do the Buccaneers not win games, they don't cover. They, they've only covered two against the spread all year. So let's lay the points and let's take the Atlanta Falcons minus four. The second game we're going to look at has the Pittsburgh Steelers going to Cincinnati, where the Bengals are six and a half point dogs at home. Talk about a sandwich game. You saw the incident last week, that horrible, ugly end of that game with uh, uh, the, uh, the Cleveland Browns defender swinging his helmet at uh, the quarterback for Pittsburgh. Well, in a, one of those scheduling quirks, they play Cleveland next week. I, I don't think... Pittsburgh is going to even be paying attention to this game. They have a history of playing down to their competition. Plus, they've got some injuries. The um, uh, running back is out, uh, Connor. Juju Smith, the wide receiver, is probably out. Their center, Marquise Pouncey, had gone to the aid of his quarterback last week. He's suspended. Um, I, I think, yeah, they're looking up the 71 north to uh, Cleveland next week. Cincinnati might even win this game. Nobody wants to be 0-16. They have a good shot here. And so it's a division game where the home team is a dog. I always like taking those. So you know what? Let's take the points and let's take the Cincinnati Bengals plus six and a half. The third game we're going to look at has the Oakland Raiders going to New York where the Jets are three-point dogs at home. How about the Oakland Raiders? Uh, one of the better stories of the year so far. They, they've lost only four games against really good teams. Uh, my Vikings, the Chiefs, the Packers. Um, I think the Texans, when the Texans were really healthy. Uh, the Jets, uh, they're on a two-game winning streak. But it's Washington and the New York Giants, uh, teams that are combined 3-17, and 17, I think. Their only other win was against Dallas when Dallas was banged up and, and Sam Darnold had come back from that injury, so they were really, really rallied. I think the Oakland Raiders are going to win this game um, going away. So it's a small price to play, too. So you know what? Let's take the Oakland Raiders, minus three. And the fourth game we're going to look at, this should be a beautiful game, Seattle Seahawks are going to Philadelphia, where the Eagles are one and a half point favorites at home. Uh, the Eagles have to be disappointed with themselves. They had the Patriots where they wanted them last week, and then they let it go. Meanwhile, they're getting a Seattle team that's coming off the bye, playing really good football, uh, know how to win on the road. This will be a, a, a real tough game. And, I, and these are the kind of games that Seattle just slugs it out and ends up winning. And you get a, a little bit of um, uh, points on your side. So you know what? Let's take those points. And let's take the, the Seattle Seahawks plus one and a half. All right, for the NFL picks, I like the New Orleans Saints minus eight and a half against the Bucks. I think the uh, Saints got their bad game out of the way with uh, the Falcons. I think they're on um, on a mission here to get the uh, number one seed and the first round bye. Um, so I think they'll take care of business here with Drew Brees and, and Michael Thomas and all. So I like the Saints to win by more than eight and a half. So take the Saints minus eight and a half. 
The next, I like the Cleveland Browns minus 11 versus the Dolphins. The Browns have had a lot of distractions this week with all the Miles Garrett stuff. Uh, I think this is the perfect opponent for them to get back to playing football. And I think Baker Mayfield will have the best game of his career here. And uh, they're going to win this game by a lot, I think. So take the Browns minus 11. Next, I like the Denver Broncos plus four against the uh, Buffalo Bills. Um, you know, Broncos have been losing heartbreakers all season now. Um, last week was bad for them, but I think the Bills are going to be overlooking them. Uh, Bills, after this game, have a really rough uh, stretch of four games, so I think that they're going to overlook this game a little bit. I think the Broncos actually could win this game outright, which I would not like too much because I want them to lose for a better draft pick, but uh, I think the Broncos will uh, keep this close, and uh, I like the four, so take the Denver Broncos plus four. And the last pick I like is the New York Jets plus three against Oakland. Oakland's got to fly across the country. They're not a very good team coming over and playing the one o'clock games on the East Coast. And they also have a big game next week against the Chiefs. So uh, they could be looking ahead as well. So um, Jets are on a little bit of streak here. So I think the Jets are going to actually win this game outright, but I'll take the three. So take the New York Jets plus three. There you have it for the picks. Let's win some money this week. Here's my Let's Take Man's Money parlay play and the six game, six point teaser play. So I'll take Atlanta minus four and a half, Cincinnati plus six and a half, Oakland minus three, Seattle plus one and a half. We'll throw in New Orleans on the money line. They're at home to Carolina. And we'll throw in New England on the money line. They're at home to Dallas, a $25 bet. We'll get us $577.06. And, and for the teaser play, we'll tease all of those games six points. We'll take Atlanta plus one and a half, Cincinnati plus 12 and a half, Oakland plus three, Seattle plus seven and a half. We'll tease New Orleans to minus three and a half and New England down to minus half a point. A $25 bet will get us $175. Good luck. Okay, and those are our picks for this week. Good luck to you. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and give us a comment in the section below. All right. For my good friend, Billy B. I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.